everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about vitamin B12 test. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is an important vitamin that's responsible for brain health, blood cell productions, and proper nerve functioning. There are many ways to test vitamin B12 levels. It can be done either by blood test or home urine test. These tests will help us to check the levels of overall vitamin B12, MMA, homocysteine, and holo-TC. MMA and holo-TC give more accurate results as they represent the active form of B12. Low levels of B12 may lead to a lot of health conditions and problems. They may cause short-term infertility in women, improper brain functioning, memory loss, and nerve damage. People who are obese and eat a lot of meat usually have high levels of vitamin B12. High levels of vitamin B12 is also not a good sign. It may indicate liver diseases such as leukemia. Vitamin B12 deficiency is a common condition. It is also found in older people along with people having intestinal disorders. Difficulty in absorbing vitamin B may also lead to its deficiency. Now let us see why your doctor may ask for a vitamin B12 test. Your doctor may ask for a vitamin B12 if you have signs or symptoms of its deficiency. These symptoms may include tingling in hands and feet, having a fast heart rate, loss of appetite, loss of memory, dementia, and weakness. Your doctor may also order this test if you have any signs or symptoms of anemia. It may be because when your intestines cannot absorb vitamin B12 properly, the production of red blood cells will be low. This condition is rarely seen in people younger than 30 years. It is mostly seen in people around age 60. Symptoms of this condition include diarrhea or constipation, bleeding gums, loss of appetite and pale color of skin. Sometimes, if you have high folate serum levels, your doctor may also ask for a vitamin B12 test. Now, let us see who can take this test. Vitamin B12 is not naturally produced by our body. It mainly comes from food or dairy products. So people who are at risk of low levels of vitamin B12 are required to take this test. So this test is required mainly by older people, younger children, people with diabetes, people who have had gastric bypass surgery, and people who have strict vegetarian diet. Some medications can also alter the levels of vitamin B12. So it is very important for you to talk to your doctor about all the medications that you are taking. Now let us see how is this test done. For this test, a small sample of blood is withdrawn from the vein of your arm. The sample is then sent to the lab. The results usually come in two to three days depending on the lab. So how can you prepare for this test? For this test, you might to refrain from eating anything six to eight hours before the test. But make sure you're well hydrated before the test. It is also recommended to take this test early in the morning. So are there any risks to the test? There are almost no risks to the test as it only requires a small amount of blood. But make sure the area is well cleaned and the needle is sterilized. Nowadays, you can also perform this test at home. You can use several home test kit for this one. Now, let's talk about the results. High levels and low levels of vitamin B12 can indicate a problem. So, let us see what may high levels of vitamin B12 may indicate. High levels of vitamin B12 can indicate cancer, kidney failure, liver disease, and diabetes. Now, let us see what do low levels of vitamin B12 indicate. Low levels of vitamin B12 may indicate internal parasite, hyperthyroidism, and anemia. After the results, you can try to interpret the report by yourself, but it's very important to talk to your doctor before starting any oral supplements. A quick reminder, it is necessary for you to take tests from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided in the description below. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.